Travis Wayne Goodsell. All right, John Delin is pissing me off. <laughs> Dear God. I mean, it's bad enough that the church is spreading misinformation and disinformation, but to have John DeLynn, who was excommunicated from the church, spreading further misinformation and disinformation, what is that a picture of? Looks like a beehive, and then I'm guessing a brain? <laughs> or maybe the beehive is exploding? Uh, John DeLynn started a new channel called Understanding Mormonism, and yesterday premiered a video our 19th why does it say one day on the mm, so on the 19th Friday yeah no Saturday Saturday did a video titled did Joseph Smith use a seer stone to translate the Book of Mormon I mean, seriously, John, are you clueless about what linguists have found in regards to the Book of Mormon and the authorship thereof? I think I can find the video series that was done on this on YouTube. Notorious, notorious. <laughs> The battle for democracy. Our cartoon president is so awesome. All right, uh, authorship of the Book of Mormon. Okay, part one. Authorship. Yeah, there, there it is. Authorship. Who really wrote the Book of Mormon? Part one, two, three, nine. <laughs> yeah, here's a whole. Yeah, I'll. Yeah, this has got them all together into one playlist. And I think it's four or five where I got my uh, charts from. So, yeah, I'll link you guys to this in the description below. But, I mean, dear God, John, where have you been? I mean, you're so focused on your own excommunication that you're oblivious to the truths that are being discovered by those of us who are critical of the church and are exposing what really happened in LDS church history. And so I had to make a comment on this video. <coughs> no, John! <laughs> Exclamation points all over the place. Linguists know Sidney Rigdon, and that's the authorship who really wrote the Book of Mormon. Uh, no, Sidney Rigdon wrote the Book of Mormon, plagiarizing contemporary books. Sidney lived in Ohio. The manuscript pages were sent to Joseph Jr. in Harmony, Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh, but Martin Harris destroyed the 116 pages, infuriating Smith Sr., who was forging the printer's copper plates at his Cooper Smith shop on his farm in Manchester, and who then replaced the 116 pages with his Jewish mystical tree of life mixed with Freemason knowledge. And I could also put in plagiarized Isaiah. Under the template of Sidney's other unpublished work from Solomon Spaulding's manuscript found, getting Oliver Cowdery to take over the lead from Junior. Joseph Jr. had nothing, all caps, to do with any input into the contents of the Book of Mormon. Quit deceiving the ex-Mormons. Exclamation points all over the place. <laughs> Pissing me off, John. God. I mean, that's... And you know, here's another one. Here's the Mormon informant. Fifty problems with the Mormon church. And again, you see Joseph Smith, and you'll most likely see, uh, yeah, there's a seer stone, there's, yeah, see, they just, nobody knows because they're not putting all the pieces together. Ugh. So frustrating. So please, ex-Mormons, quit deceiving ex-Mormons. The truth is perfectly acceptable. <laughs> Just 
follow the truth. Don't perpetuate the lies about the lies about the lies. Ah!